what's up guys um, today I'll be installing some uh, lug nuts on my Miata I got these uh, blocks lug nuts and they're super sketchy they're like aluminum and they feel so fucking light and like shitty so I don't want to put them all on because I don't want my wheels falling off tomorrow so I'm just gonna put two on on each wheel and torque them down like these things are like neo car they're pretty ugly but um, I just want to see how they look and uh, feel like they're so light and gross so I'm gonna put them on and see how it goes so I'm just gonna take off two of them because you know I don't really trust all four holding my tire on so I got that spline nut because I got these lug nuts I hate the spline nuts I always, I always fucking lose the piece and then you know you're stuck fucking trying to rip them off so all right so i got two of them on there now and torquing them down honestly didn't feel that bad so i kind of actually trust these things so i think i'll put two more on each wheel drive them for a day and see how it goes um it felt it felt pretty good like i torqued them to 90 foot pounds I think is somewhere around where the Miata is supposed to be so I'm gonna put two more on each wheel and see how it goes tomorrow. Today I'm also selling the rice bucket hopefully. I have a guy coming to look at it shortly so maybe the last you'll ever see of this thing. Um, I'm glad. Uh, those lug nuts were originally for this car because I was going full rice like I don't even like Neo Chrome. She looks ugly as fuck. So. You know. Hopefully the dude buys it, but I mean, pieces. The thing's kind of junky, so I wouldn't really be surprised to be turned away. But I'll finish all the lug nuts and show you after. It'll look kind of goofy just because it's two on each wheel, but um, you know, I don't want to die, so we'll see what happens. Now I'm gonna go around to each wheel, put on all the spikes, and we'll see how it looks. Still think it's going to look super goofy. Alright, so I put half the lug nuts on and they look super weird. Just the two of them. So maybe if they don't fall off, I'll put the, the other two on on each wheel. But I mean, they don't look good. I don't like the new chrome plus, I mean it doesn't help that my rims are filthy, so they look pretty ugly, but we'll see if I live. I forgot that one. I'll put that one on. Alright, so 50% of the lug nuts are all on. We'll see if I survive tomorrow. Um, it's starting to rain out, so I'm going to pack up. I'm gonna put everything away and wait for the guy to come by the cobalt. I want to see that rice bucket gone. So the guy never decided to show up for the cobalt, so I guess that's it for today. Alright, so I just got off work and I mean the drive here this, this morning went fine. Um, lug nuts are still on, so I kind of trust those things then. Um, I'm going to retorque them, see if any of them got loose, and then I'll head home and put the rest on. And then I think the guy for the cobalt said he's coming today, so hopefully he's there tonight. And I mean, it's Halloween, so I doubt I'll be doing anything, so won't be much today. Alright, so it's just going to be more stuff like yesterday. Um, hopefully they'll look better when they're all on, because uh, they look super goofy. Alright, so I got all the spikes on, and they honestly don't look that bad. Still not a huge fan of Neochrome, but they kind of look pretty dope. So, I'm still going to keep the old lug nuts and everything working in the car, just in case uh, these do fall off. So, still don't have 100% faith in them, but that ain't bad. Oh well, just going to tighten all the spikes, make sure they're all good. 
and uh, that'll probably be it for the night. Hopefully Cobalt guy shows up. So the guy never came for the Cobalt. So, I guess that's it for today. I'll probably work on the Beamer over here sometime soon, but uh, not tonight. So, that's it for today. See you some other time. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? It's Wednesday and today I came up with a little idea. So, the main thing my shop's miss missing now is uh, music. And my old shop teacher back in high school, he had this, uh, it was like the full car audio setup, but like put in a box outside of a car and it was really cool. Bumped pretty loud, had a sub and everything. It was awesome. So today I have a bunch of spare audio equipment laying around, so I'm gonna make one myself. So, um, we'll see how that goes. So here's all my audio stuff. So, I have some JBL 6x9s and some of these door speakers made by JBL as well. Um, now I'll be wiring the sub up to this dual amp and all of it will be controlled by my old Sony head unit. And here's the sub over here. It's a 12 inch Type R made by Alpine in a kicker box. And it'll all be powered by this power converter to take it from the typical house voltage down to 13.4 um, volts to be able to power all of this. Now, I have a little template set up. Um, that's what the enclosure is going to look like. I got my 6 by 9s and my rounds. And then the head unit will go up top there. So I'm out here in my super messy garage. Um, I've got... The wood I've selected over there is about half inch thick and it's plywood which isn't the best for audio um, acoustics but I don't really feel like spending a bunch of money on a bunch of wood so I'm just going to use some old wood we have laying around. So, um, I just cut all the pieces to the outside of the box. Uh, I still have to cut all the inside pieces which will just be what three pieces I think. Uh, here I have the top and bottom both the sides, the front, and this one, those two pieces combined make the back. So um, I think I'm gonna lay it all out and probably cut the holes in the faceplate next. And we'll see where we go from there. So I cut all the holes and um, all the speakers fit in. I trimmed up where it was necessary, so everything fits in nicely. And we have a fucking lost it there. So it's gonna be sick. So pull everything out and start assembling the box. Well, I officially have all my pieces cut. Um, I still got to do one cutout and probably drill a few holes for the wires to run through. But other than that, everything's done with the whole woodworking thing. So now I'm going to all glue it together and staple it, or I guess nail it. Nail it all together, and then seal it with caulking, paint it, and then throw everything inside of it. box mostly assembled um, here it is I have 
one more piece left to cut and it's getting kind of laid out so I hope the neighbors don't mind the loud noise because uh, I just got to do it. Sorry. <laughs> So now we're just going to paint it. I've got it all put together. And uh, last step before we can start wiring everything in. Well, that's it for today. I got some of the stuff wired up in the box. And the other half I'll leave for tomorrow, I guess. At some point tomorrow I'll get it. So today was a lot more productive than the last two days, which were just like throwing on like what four lug nuts at a time eight lug nuts at a time <laughs> stupid shit like that so um you guys have a good day i'll see you tomorrow peace How's it going guys? Today um, I finished all the wiring on the my, my speaker box here and uh, I mean it turned out pretty good. Right now I've just got the faceplate cocked all the way around it I guess. Um, so it's taped right up, it's taped on right now so it'll be it'll be set in the morning I guess. So I'll take you for a little look around it. Alright, so here it is right here. Um, it's a mess in this place just because I've been wiring this all up. But I've got my Type R. Um, the the cone's all siliconed in because uh, my buddy who had it before me obviously blew it or whatever. And so it's all siliconed in. So this is kind of just like my greasy audio setup, right? Like all my misfits. And then, so I've got the JBL 6x9s and the six inch door speakers. And I've got this Sony um, doubled in head unit and that's the switch to turn it on and off. And then I'll bring you around back. So here's where the meat is. It's back of the head unit. That's the power supply. Got the fuse back there and the amp here. And behind that plate down there is where all the speakers are wired in. And I have a piece of wood over there that is used to cover that all up and make it look pretty. I know the back looks like uh, a bit of a mess, I guess, because I didn't really have all the proper stuff. My soldering iron wasn't really working properly, so I just kind of did a bit of a janky setup. But also, I had everything in place with the head unit and everything all wired up. And <laughs> then I noticed that the, the head unit was actually upside down, so... I had to flip the whole the whole lead going into the back of the head unit and so it kind of just twisted everything and made it all look like a really big mess so that's not awesome but nevertheless I got it all finished and everything so um, tomorrow I'm gonna buy some wheels for the bottom of it like so I can roll it around and everything and give it another coat of paint because this paint is super splotchy like I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's really splotchy all around there. So I'm gonna give it a, a second coat, like a final coat tomorrow. That'll I'll tape off everything and spray paint it all good, so it'll be nice and pretty, and uh, it'll be done. And then I got a special surprise. Um, you'll have to see what it is tomorrow, though. So uh, that's about it for tonight, though. Uh, I'm gonna head to bed. Uh, it was kind of, I, I didn't really film anything of the wiring because it would have just been a mess. I wouldn't have been able to really show you that well on what I was doing at all because it's inside that box over there. So, oh well, but that's it for today. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.